Local faith leaders and activists planning a march to protest a recently passed ordinance forcing homeless off the streets. Thousands from across the country expected to attend. News Street's Gabby Hart joins us live now. Gabby, the protest expected to be a popular part of town. Uh, that's correct, Gerard. The protest is calling for people to join in and shut down Fremont Street. I talked to the organizers today and they say this protest will be the first of many until the no camping ban is overturned for good. If you want to end homelessness, provide resources, deal with the root, not the fruit. Minister Stretch Sanders, along with other faith leaders and activists from the Valley and across the country, are planning a massive march here in Las Vegas. They'll be speaking out against a recently passed ordinance that makes it illegal for the homeless to sleep on the street if there's a bed available at a shelter. This is the first step. We wanted to do something. We've been waiting 20 years. Mayor Carolyn Goodman says this new ordinance will help the homeless, not harm them, giving them access to resources that are available at shelters. It is a resource and a model to get replicated in other parts of Clark County. You do not criminalize the homeless. You do not oppress the poor and the needy and don't have repercussions. Mm -hmm. So that repercussion, that consequence is that as a community, we have a right to say enough's enough. The shutdown Fremont Street March is slated for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Organizers expect thousands to attend. They say it will be peaceful, but they plan to stop traffic to make sure their message is heard. And if that leads to people being arrested, it's a risk they're willing to take. This protest is not to send a negative message or to send a violent message. It's to say, hey, when you do wrong, you get held accountable, even though your intentions may be in the right place. Minister Sanders says their ultimate goal is to get the city to overturn the ordinance. And he says if this protest doesn't get the point across, more marches will follow. If we have to stop traffic and stop businesses and people miss their flight and miss their hotel check-in to overturn the ban, that's what we will do. We will continue to do it until change comes forth. You know, the march and protest is set to take place on January 20th at 4 o'clock in the evening. Organizers say people who are homeless will also be standing with them. You can find more information on our website, news3lv.com. And, of course, we'll always keep you up to date right here and on our website. Gerard, back to you. Gabby, thank you for the report.